Diabetes affects the small blood vessels all over your body. And the eye is sort of the canary in the coal mine. It's the first place that gets into trouble. What happens is you get damage to blood vessels and uh, the blood vessels in the eye, you have areas with lousy blood supply. Those areas say, I'm hungry, I want more blood supply, and they scream for help. And what they end up doing is making chemicals in the eye called cytokines that are well-meaning. It sounds like a great idea. They're, they make new blood vessels grow, they make regular vessels leaky, but those new blood vessels have a tendency to break and bleed and scar down, causing blindness. That's what's called proliferative diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy, but new blood vessels proliferate. The other major way diabetics lose vision is from this I'm hungry factor making regular blood vessels swell and leak. And a swollen retina doesn't work well, just like a swollen brain doesn't think well and a swollen knee doesn't work well. Fortunately, we have made big breakthroughs in the treatments of these diseases, mainly by blocking that I'm hungry factor. There are several, erythropoietin, uh, hypoxia-inducible factor, big names, and VEGF, vasoendothelial growth factor. VEGF's the important one because we have specific blockers for VEGF uh, that have made a revolutionary change in diabetics not going blind if they're treated early enough. Not only can using an anti-VEGF stop the I'm hungry factor and stop the new blood vessels and help the swelling, it can also improve the overall blood supply and circulation with continued use. There are some patients that get swelling in the retina and decreased vision, but the brain is really good at ignoring one-eyed problems. And most patients that get into that trouble have denial issues of their own. Certainly get a screening eye exam with your local eye doctor who's used to seeing retinas. Doesn't have to be a world expert like one of us. Uh, if there's signs of retinopathy, you need to be watched more closely. You want to be picked up at an annual exam when you start to get these new blood vessels. Because if we can get you sooner, we can prevent you know, any of the potential vision loss you might have had that otherwise we'd have to save. Uh, with modern microsurgical techniques, we're able to pull some rabbits out of the hat, take some totally blind patients and recover. However, it is much easier if you watch those blood sugars and, and let us be in that first group of patients uh, where we can take things slowly as opposed to surgical intervention or getting in-stage disease with lots of chronic diabetic macular edema.